Welcome to video 4 in which I am making a playing card box. I'm, I'm 3D printing the box and I'm laser cutting the lid. And the box here is finished in Fusion 360. Um, I need to 3D print this still. Um, what I'm looking at now is making the, the lid. And the lid is going to fit into this little cutout uh, indent here at the top of the box. So um, I'm going to work with the Techsoft 2D Design version 3 and uh, I'm just going to load it up on the, on the start menu here. The key thing is, for those of you that were working with version 2 before, you can see there's 2D Design version 2 there. What I would type in would be like 2D and I would get 2D Design version 2. No, I'm not doing that. Instead now I'm going to type V3 and now I get Techsoft Design version 3. Okay, let's load that up. Here we are. Um, and uh, what I need to do here is uh, I'm going to format it a little bit. Let's see as I normally do. Grid lock here. I'm going to right click on grid lock. I'm going to give myself a 5 mil grid. I'm going to make sure that I've got dots and I'm going to go with a nice pale blue because I find that's a great color for, for clarity. Okay, so in my design here, in my, my technical drawing that I came up with, um, I've got the dimensions here, the, the orthographic view of the box. I can see here that I've got an external dimension of 65 in width for the box and 95 in height, and I've got the lid dimensions here. Uh, now, are these the lid dimensions? Hang on a second. This is the internal dimensions for my box. So this was 60 by, by 90. Now, if I think about this, my lid actually wants to be 95. Well, let's go with 65 because that's X. I want the width to be 65, but then I've got a one millimeter little wall thickness on the right and a one millimeter little wall thickness here on the left, which means that this dimension right here, and I think I'm just going to pop this in actually. Let's just add this in. I'm going to have a faint line there faint line there. This is a bit strange because this is a cross-sectional view and I'm rushing and I'm uh, making a few little errors there with my with my lines. But let's just pop this in here. So that internal dimension line there, I need to make my, my arrows a bit neater than that as well. I've really messed that up there but anyway that detail there is going to be 65 minus 1, minus 1, that makes it 63. So in the same way, the height of this box is going to be 95 minus 1 millimeter here, minus 1 millimeter here, it's going to be 93. So 63 by 93. Those are the dimensions that I want. So let's come back to design 2D. Um, now I'm going to, I'm going to zoom in first of all. Now with the new version of uh, of TechSoft here, or design, 2D Design, I can zoom in with a wheel mouse. I'm going to come down here and I'm looking at my absolute grid references and I can see that I'm getting up to about a height there of about 90 odd. So that's roughly the height I want my lid to be. And in my uh, grid and step lock settings here, I want to go into step lock because I want millimeter by millimeter control. Okay, so let's get the rectangle tool. Let's start in the bottom left hand corner there. In fact, um, no, I'll start five millimeters from the edge. There we are. I'll click there and the dimensions were X63, Y93. So now I'm going to look at the relative grid reference dimensions here. I want the X value, which you currently can't see, but it will appear when I put my mouse on the drawing area. That wants to be positive 63 and the Y positive 93. So here we are. Positive 63 is now in the X and 95 wants to go up, sorry, Y wants to go up to positive 93. So 63 by 93, we are there. Okay, let's just get some dimension lines on here. And what I'm going to do with the dimension lines, because if, if I draw them normally, um, they, they, they kind of like the overpower the design I, I find because they're, they're the same black, solid black as the rest of the drawing. So I'm going to undo that and I've got multiple undo with the version 3 which is very exciting. I'm going to right click on the dimension lines. I'm going to go to the color of the dimension line settings and I'm going to make those a more pale gray. Not the super pale gray, the slightly dark gray. Uh, and to make sure I step onto the right corner because I could try and do it with the millimeter control instead I'm going to turn on the attach tool over here and now let's do the X first. I'm going to click and click and that is going to be 63 in the width and then click and click and that's going to be a 93 in height. That is perfect. Now of course we're not quite there yet because I've also had these filleted corners. Now here's an interesting situation because I actually... Ah, 
very interesting I did these filleted corners yeah let's have a see the fillet to here was f was a five millimeter fillet and then this one here was a 2.5 millimeter fillet so if I think about this this is 2.5 from this from this origin of the fillet 2.5 five this wall thickness is one so this is going to be a four millimeter radius fillet okay so in here let's come to the fillet tool fillet tools and arcs it's right at the end here this is going to be a four millimeter radius fillet and I'm going to click once click once click there click there click 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 okay and that should now be perfect let's just come to the dimension line tools let's get a uh, a diameter dimension or radius dimension that's what I want a radius dimension let's just double check that and that has a radius of four millimeters perfect so the last thing I need to do here is just select the the lid profile here I'm going to change the color to blue and we will um, send that to to the laser cutter so I'll, I'll pause the video and I'll come back with hopefully some results okay so uh, it's been laser cut. Let's have a see what we have. Let's come back to the camera here, and uh, and here it is. Uh, it's a little off cut of of uh, purple acrylic here. You'll notice that actually the back is a little bit scratched, um, being an off cut, but the front here um, is protected by the plastic. So let's peel that away. See what we have here. Okay, very very nice. There's going to be my lid, um, and of course I can't put it on my 3D printed box yet because I've not 3D printed it. Um, this is just a plain um, opaque piece of acrylic here. I thought to myself, having done this, I should have gone actually with a transparent piece of acrylic so you could see the cards inside. And of course, you know, you could add some graphics on here. You could add some text. Uh, what's the game or what's the contents or who does it belong to? Whatever to to make this a little bit more personalized. But I'm going to just keep it simple. And let's just check my dimensioning here. If I place this on my technical drawing, look, that fits perfectly on with a one millimeter margin around the outside. And hopefully, yet yeah, my playing card is going to fit in the box. So everything is perfect. Okay, so that's the end of this video. We'll see if I make one more um, when I've got the 3D print finished so we can see everything going together.